Aquarius season is coming, if you couldn't tell. Can't you just feel it in the air? My dad is both an Aquarius and a photographer. I've always wanted to do some type of like Aquarius themed shoot. I've wanted to do this style shoot for a long time now, but I've got this urge and inspiration today. So we're gonna act on it. Turns out, it turns out I'm happy, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll try another day, it'll be fine. I'll try to show some of my mood board stuff here. It wasn't very, I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. I saw some things on Pinterest and stuff, some vibes I was going for, but I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, but it's in my head. So let's try to recreate these vibes, but just exactly what I see up here. My makeup turned out kind of exactly how I wanted. Wanted simple but like cool. I really didn't know. I was like just vibing. And I like it. Super surprising because I usually hate it. And now let's set this room up with my backdrop, my lighting, everything I take down and set up and take down and set up for forever and ever and ever because it can't stay permanently. Let's do a little transition. Ugh. Super quick, right? Okay, looks good on lighting. And as for Aquarius, the Aquarius is the water bearer. And I really wanted <laughs> I really wanted um this vase, which we already I already had, which I was super excited. It's been in my house forever. But it fits perfect with exactly what I was thinking of in my mind. I just had to take those flowers out and use it plain. You guys. It's perfect. It, it did break at one point in our lives, but it's perfect. Oh my God. I'm so happy. Since I am like all functions of this production, model, photographer, makeup artist, hairstylist, everything, it's a lot harder, or not a lot harder, but it's just essentially takes a little bit longer to get everything, you know? So I've got this set up to get my focus in point and then I'll make sure my exposure is all good. And everything works you'll get to see i guess i'll set my phone up and you can watch it's kind of boring okay i'll set you on my sprite can watch my sprite okay i obviously won't be wearing this oh dang it forgot to put it on timer um i won't be wearing this per se oh i forgot to put it on timer okay oh okay gotcha 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 okay and thank god for the flip because i don't think i'll be able to do it without it okay let's test some Exposure, yep, it's working. Okay, I was sitting solo. Ugh. This is like the longest part, you know. Getting it all situated. I just look so funny. Okay. Five test picks. Ooh. They showed me that, and then they are not great. God, I'm never happy with like the first few. But, I mean, there's potential. If there's potential, you can't be mad. Okay, let's see, I'll put my outfit on, we'll see how we can get some of these picks to turn out. I will glad, I will hopefully show you the editing process. The selection process some vibes and we'll get assessed. Those work out. That took way longer than I expected. A lot of breath. I just was trying to unpack or un repack everything. Let's go see if we got some good ones. I mean, I think there's potential, but things are coming along with me. We're gonna um, go edit them in Lightroom, see if we got any good pics, and go from there. Okay, so I just woke up and I was editing them, and I love them. So I ended up taking a few on my phone, and here are those ones now. I am in love with them. I'm toning them in Lightroom and making them look all nice, but this isn't the finished product. I'm like, okay, yes, I love it. I think I'm going to use this one. This one's okay. I liked this close-up, but it, I wanted the whole vase. Like this. And then here are the ones I took 
on my camera and edited in Lightroom as well to make it this blue. See, I didn't know if I liked, I kept this gray, like I made it gray in Lightroom and kept this blue. And I didn't know if I liked it, so I'll show you both. Here is those two that are like that. I love these two. It just looks so dreamy and uh, ethereal. And then here's it without the um the gray base, you know. I just can't tell. It kind of looks fake. I, I really didn't do a great job. I could have done better, I think. But it, it took a lot of time to do that. So I kind of don't know. I think I like these ones better. I just couldn't tell. Yeah, I, I've got to say I like the blue better. It just is overall fits the vibe. I think. I have no idea. <laughs> and then I went and took these photos and the other photos that I took on my iPhone and photoshopped the crack out of the vase. Remember? There was a crack here. I'll show you the originals. It used to look like this. So that crack. Not that noticeable, but like, if I could fix it, I can fix it, you know. And now it looks like this. No crack. And when I was done editing the iPhone photos, I had them on my phone and I was like, okay, let me take them into Snapseed because they're not really doing what I wanted. Snapseed is an app. And I was playing around with like the little things you can do on Snapseed because I really don't go on it much because I, I just tone and edit in Lightroom and it's usually good enough. But it wasn't giving me the vibe I wanted exactly. So I think I opened it in Snapseed, clicked drama, and it was like bright one or bright two I believe and it kind of gave it like this like a nice like olden day art like vibe like you'll see in um the next clip because I had to come back and tell you that I did this I forgot and um it just gave it the perfect like effect on it so after I got done editing the vase crack out of the blue ones I came and took the iPhone photos and edited the crack out of those and then I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I could draw some, like, fake water coming out of the vase? And so I took my brush tool right here, and I started taking it in different um, opacities and sizes and making, like, fake little water right here. Little water lines. And I had it go under my face and above the vase. Kind of cool. And then I got to making it blue as well. So this is the finished product, and I really like how it turned out. I like the way it looks. It's just, ugh, so cute. Kitty toy, baby. So now I'm kind of super conflicted because I was originally going to go with the iPhone one that I drew the lines on, the water lines, but now I'm really loving the blue one after... <laughs> After it took some, after I took some time looking at them, like at, for, at first I was like, they're okay, I like them. But then I loved the iPhone photos. Now it's been a couple of days now that I'm editing them, and I'm like, ugh, kind of love both. Like here are my favorites side by side. They, I just can't decide. They're not like similar enough to go in the same post, you know. But like it's a little bit too redundant to post them right next to each other, you know, on my Instagram feed. <laughs> just so dumb why am I worrying about it I probably won't care enough by the time I want to post this one like I think I want to post this one um on the first day of uh Aquarius season I believe the 19th and like say it's Aquarius season in the caption or whatever and then this one a little bit after I really don't care if they look similar anymore <laughs> okay yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna post the iPhone water one on January 19th, I believe. I think I keep seeing conflicting sources of when Aquarius season starts, the 19th or the 20th of January. But I've been seeing 19th, so I assume I'm going to post on the 19th and then post the blue one sometime after that, like in the next few days. And then somewhere in the middle between that and my birthday, I have a birthday picture that I want to take specifically in my mind, like I had this one, but I haven't taken it yet, so... I'll take you guys along for the ride on that one if you want. It's against your will. I'm doing it. And you're going to watch happily. Bye.